from Marathali to Silk Road, Whitefield to the airport and JP Nagar to Indra Nagar. You can run, but you can't hide. We didn't just rattle of random locations in Bengaluru. Wherever we are reaching from point A to B is a chore in the city. We all have our personal favorite never-ending stories of the traffic woes in Nama Bengaluru. We are not here to rant, or maybe a bit. But there's good news too. Google has partnered with the city traffic police to help optimize traffic light timings at key intersections, which will reduce our problems drastically. But in a city that barely follows its one ways or amber light rules, how will Google achieve this? Bengaluru has 14,000 kilometers of main road and 44,000 junctions. There are about a thousand important junctions, out of which 398 are signalized while traffic cops man the rest. So now that Google Street View is in India, what better city to start with than the bustling Bangalore? Google used artificial intelligence based on driving trends from Google Maps to recommend a revised plan. As per the data provided by Google, the plan change has resulted in an average 20% wait time reduction per driver going through the pilot intersection in a day, which sums up to about 400 hours per day, or 73,000 hours saved per year across drivers at one intersection alone. Imagine the positive impact this can have on reducing traffic congestion road rage, fuel consumption, and greenhouse gas emissions. So what is Google Street View and how will it help you get home faster? It's an immersive 360 degree view of location captured using special cameras mounted on vehicles or backpacks by data collectors moving around the streets. The images are patched together to create a 360 degree view which we swipe through to get a detailed view of our location. Moreover, the speed limit for a road would also be displayed in the Google Maps navigation mode at the bottom left side of a phone screen. This feature has been available since 2007 in over 100 countries. In India, Street View was banned in 2011 due to privacy issues involving sensitive data such as car number plates, restricted areas of the armed forces and other government properties. So what changed now? Street View comes to India after changes to its geospatial guidelines which encourages the growth of domestic companies providing mapping technologies. It requires the collection and ownership of data to remain with the local entities. As a part of a licensing deal, Genesis and Tech Mahindra will partner with Google. Mahindra and Mahindra will provide cars and e-rickshaws to mount cameras and travel 700,000 kilometers to collect data over a few years. As far as benefits are concerned, Street View adds a layer of assurance. Think of Indranagar 100 feet road. If you want to go to social but don't mind other options, Street View will help you find what social looks like from the outside as also whatever else is available on the street. However, in a rapidly changing country like India, an image taken today might not hold true next year. New highways, flyovers, metro lines and buildings keep changing the landscape. Will Google make them timely? In US, Google has a rerun of its cars, capturing updated images after a few years to display the most current photo of an area. But that is a problem for another day. Have you wondered how Google Maps knows of traffic snarls ahead or the best route for your trip? When people navigate with Google Maps, aggregate location data is used to understand traffic conditions. We have also partnered with Google to share live road closures and incidents data so that whenever there are road closures due to weather incidents, accidents, events, etc., commuters can be made aware of the road closures in real time and be navigated to an alternative route via Google Maps. Google uses predictive machine learning techniques to analyze traffic patterns. It also studies the roads at different time lengths to predict what the traffic will be let's say in 10 minutes. If traffic is expected to get heavy on a route immediately, an alternative one is suggested. Two other sources that help Google Maps are data from local government, which helps it know about speed limits, tolls or road closures, and incident reports from drivers. Have you explored the new features on Google Maps yet? Tell us in the comments below.